Uh, Dr. Wilcox in for our uh, Thursday morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm well. And you? Very well. Very well. How's business? It's great. Great, great. Staying busy. Always always have something to do. Yeah, you're always doing something is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So th- I give you credit for that. So um, last week, our last radio visit, um, spoke of the components of um, a medical food called Occufolin, and we got partway through it, and I was going to pick up on that today, and I grabbed the wrong folder on the way out the door. I actually, right. I, th- I think I gave away all my notes to a doctor I was visiting the other day, and it's like, I got to go get it from him. But what I will do is on the kind of the top of my head, I can talk about uh, was it Monday or Tuesday this week? Today's Thursday. So it was, yes. it was, it was uh, wow, it flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I had six different people that walked out the door with this medical food. And, and I was thinking about, you know, it's pretty neat because they all had kind of different things going on. And so I, I, I will say that it's not about the medical food and, and the components of it, which I like and appreciate because it's quality stuff and it's, it's got the right concentrations of this, that, and the other. But um, it's, it's what your body needs. And your body, your body just wants to be appreciated. And, you know, you want to you you give it the stuff it needs. And you have to understand you know, that, the, that our bodies, as we evolve on this rock in this past the cursed last hundred years of the light bulb where we stay inside and we don't go outside anymore in the uh, uh, the computer where we sit on our butts and we don't move anymore in the processed foods that started with World War One and all the stuff that's put in them so they can stay on the shelf and all the problems there. So we've been really negligent in taking care of our bodies. Um, the, the foods we get from around the world grown with God knows what in the soil. So... Um, all right, so I have a patient who came in who had diabetic retinopathy. And that was the happy news. By that was the, the way. good news. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I I tell you, I'm, I, I've ha- I've had a hundred and seventy thousand patient encounters in these thirty two years. I just did some math recently on that. That that's a lot of conversations. That's a lot of people. And I, I I love my old patients. I love the stories, and I'm so sad that the uh, the World War II soldiers are pretty much dead and gone. You know, because they would be ninety some years old now. Well, it, it, and, it, it, Interesting that you can get it, get them to talk to you because a lot of veterans don't talk about experience. Well, experiences. but what I'm saying is I, I appreciate them. Yeah. And and then when I have that ninety something year old sharp as attack person, I ask him. I say, so tell me, in breaking your life up in thirds, you know, how well did you eat, and and what did you do? And it's like nobody they, they, they pretty much didn't smoke, or there was a period of time where they, you know, everyone smoked back in the seventies, whatever. I am, yeah. And uh, they they grew up on a farm, and they uh, they they um, uh, they don't drink, or if they drink, it's very uh, minimal. And it's the same story. Um, and they they don't eat too much. They're not overweight. They're they're on the leaner side. And uh, and so you, if you ask all these people these questions, you go, oh, if, if this is how you're going to live to be old and and have your brain. And there's some there's some relationships there. So talking about these patients, um, diabetic comes in hemorrhage in the back of the eye. So what what why do you have diabetes? Um, is is you 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 went tilt in your in your in your body. You you've upset it most. And there's type one and type two. Type one's usually that younger person who had a viral infection and events happen there. And Type two is usually you did it to yourself. Now that's I didn't say always, but usually right. people will tell you. I'm I'm on the doctor side. I'm the guy looking in the eyeballs, and you know nobody says they're happy they're half blind anymore. You know nobody says that, and uh, and they'll tell you these stories. Well, now I've quit this, and now I've quit that, and I've quit the other thing. So this gentleman would benefit from the uh, the Occufolin and the fact that it helps with diabetic retinopathy. It helps with circulation. It improves your perfusion. Perfusion is the ability to, to get more fluid get, um, uh, blood in the area and out of the area. So, you know, you got you to gotta bring in the raw materials, then you got to take out the trash. And if you don't do a good job of bringing in the raw materials and taking out the trash throughout your whole body, then, then disease ensues. So, um, and so that's patient number one. Uh, patient number two. Big dude, uh, big dude, seventy-two-year-old guy who, if you're going to be fighting bears, you want him on your side, and um, and so he's nice guy, been patient for years, and uh, does a, a a good job um, on his health and wellness verbally, 
and uh, but he's got a big big middle section to himself, and his vision's off. And uh, he was uh, 18 months ago. He's in the office, and he was 2020. Now, with the best he can see, is like 2030, 2040. So, in a year and a half? Yeah, yeah. And he knew. What what he did was, uh, a couple months ago, beginning this year, he said, okay, I'm going to cut out the carbs and be better about these things between he and his physician. And uh, and he had a stroke in the back of his eye. He had this white, fluffy spot, which is a stroke. If it happens, remember, eyes are brain, okay? I get I preach it all day long. That they're not eyeballs. It's part of your brain. So if it's going on in your eyes, it's going on in your brain because it's the same thing. And, uh, and that broke, you know, so I, cameras would take pictures and show people. And when you show them, if you put a bright light in somebody's eye and say, hey, you got this in there, they can, they can only use their imagination. But if you show them a picture, you go, oh, yeah, look at that. And, um, and so he has some vascular disease. You can see that the, the years of being, oh, he's a, he's a fried food. You know, the, the problem with the black population is soul food. They like a lot of fried food. You start doing that to your body all the time, and it adds up, and it's called vascular disease. So he has, a, a sl- he has poor perfusion, and he has a, some, some a hypertensive stroke in the back of the eye. And, um, and so the reason to put him on this medical food that's got the D and the C and the B's and the A and the N-acetylcysteine and all these things that help get your mojo going and through the circulation in your body, um, so he's on this stuff. And Should he have had any kind of a, uh, a sign to say, whoa, I'm a, I just had a stroke in my eye? Well, you can if it affects the, the central vision. Um, and uh, without a doubt, we just had one of those in the office, a significant one, which is a, uh, a vein occlusion, and took out half of his eye. And, oh, by the way, um, he's not on my list, but that guy has uh, the t- whole top of his eye. The, the top half is like a backed-up septic system, just all these little hemorrhages. Oh. And then you can see this white stuff, which is edema, swelling. So if you take a, um, um, you know, a little micro needle and stick it in the eye and squirt some water in there, it's going to get cloudy looking, okay? So you get this cloudy looking stuff. And so the choices for him and his significant problem, because he had a spot in his middle uh, of his visual field, the choice for him, the standard of care, the typical stuff is you, you watch it or you're going to stick needles in the eyes or you're going to give them steroids or in certain cases you have to use lasers to burn the back of the eye so that the, the, the demand for oxygen isn't there. And I gave him the choice of, hey, let's really push you on these this medical food, these these folate problems you have. And in two weeks, he came, in four days, he called up and we, we talked and his spot was gone in his field. Really? And in two weeks, you could see noticeable drainage of the swamp of that swollen retina. And uh, now he'll be back in in a little bit. And um, and that's because we gave him some nutritional love. You know, we, we did some things to send in the troops to give, you know, your triage stuff in that, that mass unit. Like, who do we need to take care of first and what do we have to do aggressively? Right. And it's simple. It's it, it, and because we're we're just going down this road of of giving the the love and respect to those cells and that tissue that's needed, so I I like his photograph that I keep up without his name on there because you can see the top half of his retina is jacked up and the bottom half is good and the the left eye is good and so you can look at the differences in the vessels, and the neat thing is when you look at the veins. And if you're not draining things and things back up and they get hypooxygenated, not as much oxygen, and they're, it's purple. They're two definitely different colors. There's the vein that's, that's slow and has congestion is purple looking. And they, the vein that's normal has this other ruby color to it. So uh, it's nice to show. Um, and that, I'll jump forward to my last patient of the day who we put on Occufolin. This is all one day. One day. One day. And uh, he was a nice guy, just had spinal surgery. They went through in his cervical spine, so they went through his, the, you, know, you go through the throat, you're going to move everything around, and he came in kind of raspy, a Wolfman Jack kind of guy. And, uh, but he had a, a lifetime of smoking, and, uh, and he had purple veins, all, all of them. All of them. So I was able to show he and his wife, who was there, um, what's going on. And he had some vascular disease. And he wasn't old. You know, he's 50-something. Has he quit smoking? No, but he might now. And because pictures. And then we initiated him on this because if it worked for this guy who's got a huge problem, it's going to work for you. And and it's, it's I'm not selling anything. I'm just giving people choices, you know? Does 
stopping smoking help clear will you clear, eventually yes, clear up yes and people ask that all the time and it's like you no know, it's not going to happen in a week right. you know, if you took 30 years to screw it up it's going to take a little while to get better and there are and not for this conversation there's a lot of things you can do low and slow you know take your time and you can slowly uh, address and improve some of these um, vessel wall um, deposits of these of these band-aids your your blood vessels want to put on the inside of the wall it's inflammation and when you're inflamed you know if you cut yourself you put a band-aid on it and when you kind of cut the inside of your blood vessels your body puts a band-aid on it and it's a plaque it just it's a, it's an internal band-aid so it takes a long time for those things to be cleaned up but um so he's uh, um the the uh communication with him is you know let's you get to try to address your s- smoking and we'll do these things. And he bought in on it. And his wife's there. They're a loving couple and hardworking guy. And uh, He bought in on it because his wife was there. That's well, what it that, is. That, yeah. that, that, that is a curse and a blessing and, just, you know, a mixed. Um, and so then I had a husband-wife um, in. And uh, he comes in. And I just showed you a picture of his head. His his head is cocked to the side. It's like pitched to one side. And uh, and it's tilted to one side. And, and he sees a chiropractor every five weeks to get his neck worked on. And, um, and I was using my cover paddle when you cover one eye, then the other yeah, eye, then back yeah. and forth. And I was showing him how his world moved up and down. And then I manipulate his head and make it worse and make it better. And, and in doing the things that I do to help people be less symptomatic and improve their quality of their life, um, I um, – um, was able to, we use some, um, these microcurrents on his neck, which goes up to his brain, which is 40% eyes. And we took pictures ahead of time of his crooked self. And then after just three, four, five minutes of doing this stuff, took pictures again. And you can see his wife and he can see in the photograph, um, that is, that his head was straighter and his, and his headache. I always get people to score themselves on a scale of zero to 10. How does it hurt? And, uh, better. And so we use those neural lenses on him because that's what's going to straighten out his head. When your when your eyes are crooked and you make these compensatory head movements, then then all of a sudden, because it's more comfortable visually that way, well, let's put the band aid in front of you in your glasses, and then you can straighten your head out. So there's a short term change we need to make and a long term. And he needed circulation stuff, and so because of his retina findings. Oh, he had a deep pigmentation. I take pictures and all the time with people. And uh, and there's old pictures that his retina looked better. Today, his retina had some deep pigmentation stuff, macular degeneration going on. And so he's on the Occupolin because it has all those components of the A-Reds, A-Reds 2 stuff you hear about preservation. Is that, when you say Occupharma, is that... Occupolin. It's a folin. medical food that... It has. Yeah. Is it a pill that has all of these components? Yeah, it's in a it? supplement on steroids. It's okay. a supplement that's FDA monitored because it's proven to fix some problems when we have genetic errors. Okay. There's this. There's this. We're, there's this uh, MTHFR that everyone talks about these days. If you're into health and wellness, and over half of us have it. And it causes problems with managing our folates. And if you have problems managing your folates, your foliage, your green foods, then you have problems with your methylation. And if you have problems with that, then you build up this stuff called homocysteine, which causes inflammation. And so it's the root cause of a lot of problems. And then you don't make, you don't help your mitochondria make energy. And if you don't do that, then, you know, the house falls down. And by the way, uh, tomorrow morning right here on the morning show, there's going to be a test on all this. So okay. I hope you're following. So, so we have the husband who is now has this deep pigmentation. We straighten out his head in the exam room to an extent. And his wife who said, oh, I take that, but I take a different version of it. And um, and we're I, I'm in full disclosure. I said, well, why do we why do we have you on that? And there was a point in time <clears throat> during COVID where we couldn't the company that makes this stuff couldn't get parts of it, and we switched over to this um, sister brand. And um, and 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 the reason um, I, I brought her back onto the Occupone because some of the components are a little different, and so we're going down that road. And she has a little sensitive stomach, so we do some things cautiously with her. Of so, course, yeah. And now, now we have, and so then we have the uh, the concussion, 17-year-old, a, a girl in the office with her mom and new patient, and she had a concussion, and she has brain fog. And in um, her, uh, 
the reason to help her is if it's going to this occupy the, things that improve circulation when you have a concussion and you have these headaches since ocufolin and the components of it help with migraines help with circulation help with headaches she was put on this and it turns out her dad is a uh, special forces guy ex special forces and uh and he uh, um, uh, had a, a bad childhood where uh, mom uh, threw him around the room. And so he had a lot of head trauma and brain funk. Haven't met him, but the mom brought some home for him because I showed her papers. I showed her all these documents. About the mom that threw him around the room? No, 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 no. Oh. The, the, uh, the, the, there's a mom and a daughter. <laughs> okay. But this, the, the, what, the husband, who's a concussion sufferer for years, they're going to work on him with this stuff because it's a simple tool, no risk. Is this a prescription? It's a what it's what what a medical food is. It requires a doctor's recommendation. And when you go to the pharmacy, I've got it's located in Williamsburg Drug, and there are two locations. It was going to be here with Keith, at um, uh, but Keith is now sold his his yeah, pharmacy. No. So um, so I'm going I'm getting it placed in uh, the Matthews uh, 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 pharmacy. In Matthews, um, we're going through the steps there. And um, I've just been using this stuff for a long time. I know it works. And now they have a ton of these studies. But you that are can't go in. to your pharmacist and ask for Occupolin. You, if they have it, no, you're correct. You, if you have it, they, they have to, it has to be doctor recommended. And we're working around that because um, it's strong enough that you can get yourself in trouble, but it's also good enough that it has to be recommended. So it's a step above. And there's not many medical foods out there. And the, 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 the people who go through the studies to prove that it has these positive effects. Dr. Wilcox has the Wilcox Eye Center down at the point. And I always like to point out when, because when he gets on a roll, a lot of times I'm sitting there going, what? But uh, if you are just looking for an eye exam, uh, you're going in there because you want your, uh, uh, the, uh, your glass lenses changed, uh, you want a new frame. You need an eye exam. You need contacts. He's there. He may give you other options and say, hey, would you like to consider this? Let me show you this. But the bottom line decision comes back to you. Yes. yes. And look, I'm just here for a pair of glasses. Yep. Great. Here's your prescription. Here's a, you can go right out in front and get the glasses. I appreciate you for bringing that back down because, yeah, I, I am a little bit scary at times when this information <laughs> comes out. And you have a, you have a little bit – people kind of figured out that I've got to – You're a, scarier on the radio than you are in your office. <laughs> I just – I have I, – I so much want to tell you what you can do. <laughs> I know. And, uh, and, be, and you have so limited time. But what we do is I've, I've scheduled my practice forever – that I don't see 72 patients an hour. Exactly. You know, I have enough time in our schedule, enough great staff, and we're going to have a staff meeting today, and we're going to go over stuff to make ourselves better, and uh, and how do we do this efficiently? How do I, And they're all going through classes to, to, to be better yet. And uh, so, I, yeah, we do... We do simple stuff, and we do complicated stuff. See, that's what I like about my, my PCP. My PCP never looks at her watch. Mm-hmm. And uh, gives you the impression that she's got to get out of there. Mm -hmm. I, she sets. A, I guess she sets aside enough time that you know you want. You need to talk about a problem. Let's talk about it. It's kind of like a duck. You know, a duck is just gracefully going over the water, but pedaling like hell underneath. You know, <laughs> and so you just can't show them your feet. You know. 